Bet you if it was a blue line fag, it'd be in good condition. Yeah, I bet you if it was a blue line, a gang flag, that, that shit would have been in pristine condition. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be folded every morning and, and raising every day. Yeah. With a couple donut crumbs on it. They're bringing the cavalry. Round them up, boys. We're going to have ourselves a hanging in night. You got a name and badge number? What what depart what department you work for? Amarillo. Uh, I've got departments from all over the state of Texas to come out here and work. Are y'all just as yellow as they are? If you want to talk with respect, I'll talk to you, but if you're gonna be that way, we don't need to talk. Look, we just want Look, to how about this? How you about your Fuck you. How about that? How about that? How about that? Look at his face. Look at him. His ego burning up right now. Clown ass. They couldn't even get the flag together. They just shitting on, shitting on the whole concept of policing, bro. They, they, the you guys gonna sit here and babysit us now? Oh, you doing the music thing for copyright? Oh, good job, dude. Way to be a fucking dumbass. Way to be a pig, man. You're a piece of shit. He listening to the baby music because that's yeah. what they is, a bunch of babies. Yeah, what well, he doesn't realize, though, we got it covered. Don't worry. That's the baby What's go night, trash? night That's music. Bel Air for you right there. Look at that trash. Too bad it's all that's on the edit. And I can edit all that shit out, though. That's Let's lame as hell, though. You know that, right? And then you listening to Disney music. That's all right. He don't have no prior restraint. That's We know that's a fucking soft tyrant. As hell. They all soft No as prior hell. restraint. You got him. You lame as hell. You like a racist ass pig, no, bro. Fucking trash. That's all he is. Look at your nose, bro. Let me zoom in on his nose, bro. That shit look like an airplane. Look at this trash. That boy nose look like a paper airplane, fucking bro. Fucking trash, man. <laughs> Bill Air PD. Hey, man, we're finding all kinds of talent. You look like you done violated a few rights in your time, huh? He doesn't it's even like know that I have fucking rights to a lot of stuff. He, that's how stupid he is. He's a he's an oath a oath breaker. This oh, he's a he's a tyrant, dude. Break. Look at him. Look at his face. What's your name and badge number, bud? So I can go ahead. You're gonna be the plates. thumbnail, though. That's that's what you fail to realize. You're gonna be the thumbnail. What's your name and badge number, bud? So I can fall in the plates and that, that nose look like the thumb. You don't want to give it? Let's get you. <laughs> <laughs> that nose look like the thumb. City of Bel Air. This how they. This how they operate coming out of Texas. Six fifty. They coming Park. out here to help out, but they pull up in here yeah, playing he's Disney trash, music. Bro, that's what he is. Clown. We gonna watch him and see how it's long he's gonna sit here. It won't go scoop. down. You're not as smart as you think you are. It's still up. Still up, bud. That no motherfucker nose look like a goddamn cliff. Motherfucker jump yeah. off that nose and go skydiving off that No, beach. that's that's one right there that rapes children. <laughs> he likes to rape little girls. Look at him. He does look like a little pedophile piece of trash, don't he? Hey, don't his nose look like an elbow? <laughs> <laughs> he got that Iron Mike nose. That motherfucker look tough. I'm still up, bud. It ain't going nowhere. It that ain't motherfucker going nose nowhere. is like You're a refrigerator stupid. door. That's how ignorant you are. This just <laughs> proves, this literally proves what the people, you're proving our point that you give a shit more about yourself than you do the community. Bill L, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get. Hey, that motherfucking nose can block out the sun, bro. Zoom in on that nose, bro. Oh, I got his name, dude. We're gonna file formal complaints on his ass. No, just hey, zoom I'm in make on sure his nose, in your tea though. Coat jacket. I'm making sure it goes in your tea coat jacket, bud. That boy's nose look like a motherfucking, uh, damn, your shit blocking out the whole half left side of your face. It's okay, we're going to make sure it goes in his tea coat jacket. Look at him. That nose look like he done violated a couple of rights. Oh, uh, he violates little kids and, he violates little boys and girls, I'm sure.
I wonder if your boyfriend knows about that. Your boyfriend know you, you rape little kids? Huh? That's Look all right. Up. He oh, his now you, oh, now now you know, like huh? Right now. That's okay. We're going to put complaints in his Tico jacket. That motherfucking nose look like he's ready to uh, violate some rights. Tell your nose to stand down, officer. It's still up, but it ain't going nowhere. You don't realize. You really don't realize. What, you got it. Instead do of nothing. a strong jawline, you got a strong nose line. <laughs> look at that. Still up, bud. Hey. It ain't gonna get shut down. Instead of a strong, hey, hey, instead of a strong jawline, he got a strong nose line. <laughs> God damn, that nose is defined. You got a motherfucking. I ain't never seen a snob. You, go, you ain't got a nose, you bro. You got Air. a snob. <laughs> you all that police department. Nothing hey, but tyrants. Hey, got a nose, bro. You got a snob. A snob. Hey, he got a. Uh, he got a Seinfeld. He got a motherfucking snob. He got bro. a Seinfeld. God damn. Here, just to prove it to you, bro. I'm gonna stand right here. You're not gonna get me on a copyright strike. <laughs> he ain't got a nose, bro. He got a snob. You're making yourself look like a fool, dude. My life is gonna be up, it don't matter. That's not how copy strikes work, you dumbass. That's not how they work. <laughs> hey, his nose wanna violate some rights right now. I see it's getting red. He violates little boys and girls, that's what he does. Look. Still up, bud. Still up. That's not how copy strikes work, you dumbass. He thought he was coming out here. Yeah, he to do thought he something. was doing something. He thought he was doing something. <laughs> That's what we call a nincompoop. Hold on, hold on. I need a good thumbnail. You look like you done violated a few rights in your days. Oh, well, huh? he's, he's tased and beat. He's probably murdered some people. Yeah, you, you got a couple bodies on him. He probably got bodies in his basement. He probably beats his boyfriend. Weak as hell, bro. See, that was a weak ass, ass move you pulled, bro. That shit ain't cool, bro. No, he's, he's, he likes to do that. You thought you was cool for that shit, bro? You gonna go back to your department, and I'm gonna post this to your 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 department's Facebook page and show them exactly what you looking like. Your whole department gonna be gonna call you snobs. I'm gonna pull. Snobs. Well, I'm gonna pull your code of conduct and your professional standards. And your whole department gonna start calling you Officer Schnoz from now on. Cause you got a nose on you, bro. I'm going to hold you accountable to your policy, to your department, and I'm going to make sure it goes in your T-Code jacket. And for every violation in your policy, I'm going to write a separate complaint. I'm going to paper trail you, bud. I'm going to paper trail your ass until you can, you got to leave or resign. You thought that shit was cool, bro. You thought you was doing something with that He's shit. Not. Look, what you doing, bro? Look, still up. Look. Still you're alive. looking like a fucking got him on there looking stupid still right alive, now. dude. Big snars. That shit, that snars look crazy on the live. You know how many people you got watching you acting fool right now, dude? That boy, that boy Snaz got joints in it. I ain't never seen a nose with joints in that motherfucker. Hey, the next time you got anybody, any officers that get popped in Bel Air, you're the problem. Blame it on yourself. Because you're the one that creates a disdain between the public and law enforcement. Look, you have no prior restraint, bud. You're trash. Garbino. You're trash, bud. You're trash, homie. He's trash, dude. He wanna do he wanna escalate so oh, bad right now, bro. Look he at does. his fucking face, bro. He does. But his ego won't allow him to disconnect and, and go on by this bitch. He can't. His ego burning his ass up right now. Think of someone deal, Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him. Still trash, look like his clown, bro. bro. I can see that schnoz through the tent. Look at him. He's a waste of oxygen, bro. Come on. Clown, bro. Let me zoom in on that schnoz one more time, bro. Look at that schnoz. <laughs> Look at that schnoz. That boy got a Rocky Balboa schnoz. All right, everybody. <laughs> I appreciate you guys jumping in. Look at that schnoz. What does that do, sir? Hey. Hey, when I cut this and edit this, when I cut and edit this, I'm going to have them on that Tropic Thunder. You never go full retard. <laughs> <laughs> that nose went full retard. Oh, I got some edits for you, bud. <laughs> I'm going to clown his ass. 
He doesn't even realize we're the lead element. His ass burning up. He want to violate right now. All right, man. You ready, bud? He want to violate. All right, guys, we're rolling. Hey, man, do something with that schnoz, bro. Get a nose job or something. That shit big as hell, bro. <laughs> well, that shit big ride. as hell. <laughs> we're going to ride out. There's no question the party, man. Come on, bro. That's like the oldest trick in the book, and you don't even realize it don't even work. Fucking retard, bro. Up. Look at him looking crazy. That's probably a copper across the street, too. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, come this way, bro. Over there. No, no, they're gonna try to hem us up for anything, bro. We just clowned on them. That's public property. Irving. Oh, that's Irving. Come here, Irving. You doing right down here? <laughs> <laughs> that boy ain't looking stupid as hell with that snob. Dumbass. Fucking dumbass. Alright, we're supposed to go to that rest stop. Get the fuck out of town for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Tyrants coming all over the motherfucking town, bro. Tyrants from all over the motherfucking state coming out here to, to fucking further escalate. And like, you go here with much, no bro. questions about it. You gotta go over some love. Big all day. Nation. Big V. <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is, man. With the 500, it. man. Always showing Doing some love. Big business out it's, here. My, it's my mentor, you know. No questions about it. Been doing this shit since I started. You've all day, Texas. You know, y'all go over there and show them some Yeah, love, they got man. all kinds of tyrants out here. here. You've so we found strong. out Bel Air PD obviously got some tyrants. Big old Seinfeld nose. Piece of trash. <laughs> Anything to violate people, like man. A Anything to violate people. Stop sign. What'd they say? What'd he say? What'd he say? No question. What do they tell you? Oh, the, the sergeant, the little short one. Yeah, Uvalde, he tried to escalate. Yeah, he tried to escalate. He got little man you're, syndrome. You're, you're, you can you can record from the sidewalk, but you have to leave the property. I'm like, ain't this public property, right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, but you shouldn't be here if you're going to be harassing. I'm like, What's oh, it's always harassment, harassing? right? Always yeah. harassment, right? Any kind of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, I'm like, I said, he said, if you're, I said, so I'm asking you to leave. I said, okay. Well, you're asking, so I'm gonna politely decline. He said, "Well, if you don't leave, I'm gonna have to arrest you." I said, "Put me in cuffs, then." Yeah. Yeah. Call your call your motherfucking bluff. Yeah, do it. So I'm on public property. You know what I'm saying? And he he he. Then they changed the subject. Then yeah, I called your motherfucking bluff. Yeah. That's what cowards Sergeant. do. That's what cowards do, bud. And you're the only one escalating out of all these officers. You're the one that's from this town and coming out here trying to flex on somebody. Yep. And that's why I like this always the short ones. Yep. The short, the, the baby pigs. And look at look at how Bel Air acts, acting a fool. Dude, man, what what do you expect? I mean, honestly, what do you expect from tyrant trash? That's all right. I'm gonna fucking file complaints on his ass. I got his vehicle number. I got the time the frame. On their Facebook page. Perfect. Y'all came all the way out to Uvalde to do that. Y'all supposed to be helping out, bro. That shit ain't helping out. No, they're not. They ain't about helping people, bro. They're about letting, covering for their blue line buddies. That's what that's about. Covering for their blue line tyrants. <laughs> oh, they're, they're going to try to do something stupid. 
I'm gonna try to do something stupid. That's what they do. They're gonna try to do something stupid. All right, we gotta watch the recon areas. Watch the six. Step for a second. Yeah, he might be. He might be a part of it. Yeah, come on. I'm keeping the camera rolling, guys, just in case we know how these pigs are. We know exactly how they are. So how do you guys feel um, now as opposed to when you film this video? Have, have, have your nerves kind of calmed down a little bit? Yeah I've, yeah, I've definitely taken a step back to reevaluate even my own actions. And I caught, I caught a little bit of heat because of my language. And, I mean, I display it openly. It says it right here on my channel name, you know, Foul Mouth Veteran. Um, but I'm not here. To, to say things that you want to hear, you know, I'm, I'm here to say what needs to be said. And, and whether you like that or not, that's not my problem. You know, you need somebody has to speak up. Somebody has to to stand um, against this, man. Uh, this bowing down and, and this just, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong, then you have nothing to worry about. Well, that goes for them as well. If they're not doing anything wrong, then what are they so worried about? You know, two guys filming exercising true freedom i mean they it seems to me that they hate freedom man they hate americans that exercise any type of right if if you know your rights and you in the moment that you decide to exercise those rights all of a sudden you're uncompliant you know and then there goes the escalation 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 how many times have we heard them on the radio always oh, non-compliant he's belligerent when you've literally been speaking monotone no i'm not i'm not going to do that it's it's always to escalate, always to escalate. You'll you'll escalate traffic stops and beat somebody on the side of the road. But when it time when it's time to go and do your real job, you don't do anything but cower down. I don't give a damn if the if the school chief told them not to go in or not. They should have known as human beings and armed Americans that they should have went in there and did something. And they went in there and got their own children. And even a, a lady with no body armor. After they, they put her in the back of a car and was released, even after that, that lady had more balls than any of those pigs on, on the spot, dude. She ran in there and got her own children, and they had the audacity to chastise her for it. It's, it's fucking sad, man. Well, for me, it was like, you know, I, don't, I literally got like a 40-minute a notice. Five-month veteran hit me up like, you know, we're getting ready to head to Uvalde, and I'm like, I'm like I ain't even washed my ass yet, you know what I'm saying? And so... <laughs> I literally had like a 40 minute notice to get ready and you know and i it really didn't dawn on me until after we had this interaction with the with the uvalde pd that um how how monumental it was you know for us being like one of the first to come out there and address you know the um the pd it was like wow it didn't really dawn on me until after the fact but you know like like five miles said like you know everything that he was saying everything i was saying was 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 something that that needed to be said and 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 wanted to be said by everybody across america and i was just um you know grateful to be able to come along take it like the 4 hour drive and and be a part of this this moment and, and it just didn't really dawn on me till after after the fact that wow this this was this was something special it was man and that's one of those things it gets the fire going in your belly i i, I have I think 730 videos and I've probably done 2000 different interactions that I've filmed. And I can literally tell you three where I've had that feeling where at the end of it, you're, thank you, VH, uh, VVS Diamonds, where your hands are shaking and you've got that feeling like deep down in your gut and you're like, holy shit, like this is what it's about. And I know as soon as the camera stopped rolling, you guys are like, yeah, like that was like, and, and, and you should because that's, you're serving your country all over again. You know what I mean? And, and that type of behaviors. And, and you're so unassuming, no questions about it. Like you got your bow tie the other day you had your kind of like, you, you were dressed like real, real relaxed. And then you're like the, the, the stuff that was coming out. Oh, there's going to be a hanging tonight. Yeah. Like, you just like, I got to tell you if there is, I don't have a better uh, tag team in the game right now 
than uh, than than no questions about it in FMV. And I, I would really love to see some more stuff from you guys in the future. I do. Yeah, I'm gonna pass this off real quick, guys. I gotta. This is what I have. So this is a little charm that I have. I know it's hard to see, but it's St. Michael. And I'm going to give that to the babies here because they deserve it more than I do. You know who would have ran into those schools? This guy. This guy. These are your heroes. They don't have badges. They don't have fancy uniforms. They're fun. They're charismatic. They have bow ties. They take time off on their family on a Saturday afternoon to make sure that they can tell you guys from their perspective what happens. These are the people that fight for your nation on a daily, daily, on a daily day-to-day basis after they take the uniform off. These are the people, when you say these colors don't run, you're talking about these guys. These are the red, the white, the bold, the brave. This is what America is. And they're not alone. They're backed by you guys at home. You need to get behind people like this doing the hard work. People love to watch AFA because he goes and he you know, he owns cops like the best of them. Fuck you, pigs. And I mean, that's great. But when we look down to the nitty gritty of what real activism is, those videos that put fire in the pits of your bellies, the people that are doing this because they absolutely love what they do, but they believe in what they do because they love themselves. They love their neighbors. They love their people. They love their countries. You know, no questions about it. Foul mouth veteran all the way. FMV, what did you take off there? So I've had a charm with me. It was a St. Michael necklace and everybody that follows religion, whether you do your, whether you don't, it's your choice, but uh, he's the great protector. And I, I truly believe that one day when I, when my time on this earth is gone, that I will stand beside him and, and fight alongside him against true evil. Um, and I know that sounds crazy, man, uh, but I truly believe that I'm a warrior of good and a warrior of Christ and that one day he will need me and he will call upon me and I'll be there. And I will hold the sword and the shield and push forward. I mean, it's it's crazy because I could never see it from your perspective. I never I can't claim the honor of of service. Um, and a lot of people can't claim the honor that you guys have. That's because you, you did something that a lot of people did, um, and you're still doing it today. This is a lifetime commitment where these men are not being paid by the U.S. military. I'm sure they may receive benefits and stuff like that, but they're, they're not non-commissioned officers. They're not in the full employ of the armed forces of the United States. You know, their commander-in-chief is FMB's kids behind him. Um, or, or, you know, no question about its family. But they're out there doing now what those cops refused to do then. And if we can, it's funny the Peachy Rider said it, put our differences aside uh, and, and back people that are willing to fight for our communities, um, that is bravery. This is, bra- like, you know what I mean? This is bravery. This is freedom. There's no bulletproof vests. He's not carrying tasers and tear gas. This is freedom. He's not carrying full automatic weapons and keeping you from saving your kids. This is this is America. This is what America is, and this is what America can be again. We just need to get to the point where we can say to ourselves and our loved ones, instead of I have everything to lose, I have nothing to lose. And once we as Americans, a free fucking people, 
once upon a time in a beautiful fairy tale called the Declaration of Independence. We can be that again. But those who would sacrifice essential liberty for temporary security deserve neither liberty nor security. Police are not security. Police are not liberty. They should be involved in neither. What's important, what's important here is that these guys need more help because they're doing that. I, I haven't seen any other huge channels out in Uvalde. And these guys went in there knowing that they could get trespassed and arrested because they already tried it with mainstream press. So please subscribe to both of these guys. These guys are friggin' awesome. Um, you guys have anything you'd like to say to uh, the folks at home before we wrap things up? Yeah, um, I definitely want to thank you for sharing your platform, AFA. Um, I love your work. Um, I just want to say, you know, everybody, you know, if you can, um, you know, like like when you just said, you know, thank you for your service. It's, it's, it's the same way, whether you serve in the, in the military or not. If you picked up a camera, I salute you. I don't care how you did it. I don't care what happened. I don't care if you messed up. You did it totally wrong. There's no wrong way to do it. If, if you picked up a camera, you get my utmost respect. And um, I thank you for having me a part of your platform. It's my pleasure, man. Thank you again for your service and what you did out there. What about you, FMV? Well, first, I want to thank everybody for the overwhelming support that I've gotten uh, from the first day that I started doing my activism. Um, I started off at 2A, moved into 1A, and now I do both. But I want you guys to understand, man, we're not, I'm not a hero. I'm not a, I'm not God's gift to man. I'm just a warrior, man. And I truly believe in what I stand for. And I truly believe in what the people stand for and the hatred for one another, the hatred for your neighbor, the hatred for in your heart. You got to get rid of that, dude. It's not about left. It's not about right. It's not about black. It's not about white, man. It's about us, us as a people and, and being able to talk shit to one another, have those backyard barbecues, have your children playing together. It, it's not this hate in the heart that we got, dude. It's it's division. And the, the, the more we continue to divide, the more they're going to continue to control. Just push the, the hate and, and the ugly out of your heart and just lear, learn to love each other, man. That's what it's about. Loving thy neighbor. And that doesn't mean your immediate neighbor. It means the person that needs help on the side of the road. It means the lady that needs dragging her trash can to the side of her house. Just small things like that and small steps like that is what's going to help the, the divide in this country. You know, just love yourself and and don't be selfish. Don't do for yourself, but do for others because it's about empowering others is what's going to push this forward. Be the leader that you want to be and lead by example, but empower somebody else and empower their heart to move forward and do good in the world. And that's how we're going to succeed. You know what? Let me let me tell both you guys something. You know who uh, you know who says, "I'm not a hero." Do you know who says that? Heroes. <laughs> you, do you know who who reminds you that they are heroes? Fucking police. So like, do, do not get it twisted. Be, I will I will not accept your humbleness here. I will not let you eat the humble pie on my stage. I will glorify your service to your country because I mean you you are just you guys are both great guys, not just great activists and, and great role models, but you're both great guys. And FMV has always had a problem being in the spotlight if it's to accept uh, glory on himself. He's much rather a glory to God type of a guy. But once in a while, you got to step in that front spotlight and, and be recognized for your work and be recognized for your service to your country and be recognized for the heroes that you guys both are. And, and that's that's what's going to happen. So you can say you're not heroes, but I've already told you the, the secret. Those who say they're not heroes are heroes, and those who say they're heroes are cops. So it'll be very easy to see <laughs> who is and who uh, who is not a, uh, a hero. Um, and James Freeman uh, said it pretty eloquently. If you think we need more warriors, it probably means you need to stand up and be a warrior, and that's what these guys did. Um, so I really appreciate y'all for coming on here. Everyone, please subscribe uh, to their channel. I mean, seriously, thank you for your service. Love you guys. Love you as a team. Hope to see you a little bit more. Um, and uh, you've all DPD. Bam! You guys can take two of them, not just one. You can have two in case you lose one. And maybe, wait, what's up? 
Oh, it's a little, it's a little bird. So it's here. If you can't hear it, maybe you can't hear it. Let me turn it up for you. You keep one of those. Bam. Thank you, Tony V. And remember, when you when you take your wham, your bam, and your thank you, ma'am, you can remember that that's the reason we stopped you today, and we'll catch you on the next one.